Howdy, friends. It's Steve DePel with the Rose Realty Team with this week's Real Estate Vlog for North Texas. Today, sharing the spirit of the season. Look, for me and my family, this is one of the best times of the year, obviously. We just had Thanksgiving. We're going into Christmas and New Year's. And we get to, you know, it's, it's a time for us to get together with family and friends, um, et cetera, and just to share a little bit of joy, you know, with people uh, that, that, we're, that we're close to. But for many people, it's 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 not the same thing, okay? There's people maybe who were alone or lost a loved one recently or um, maybe kind of down on their luck, if, if you will, and they, um, you, you know, they don't have the funds that, that maybe some of us do. Um, and, and so I think it's important for a lot of us um, living here in, in, in the United States, greatest country in the world, or the great state of Texas, to share some of that spirit with people family and fr family and friends and people maybe we people we don't even know so here's some ideas um host a holiday party okay now um if you're like us you know we kind of shrunk a little bit down our um our, our friend sphere you may want to call it um during and after covid okay Part of that's because people, there were still people out there, the friends of ours, who were distancing a bit, um, and they don't want to, they don't want to catch COVID and whatever because of medical conditions, etc. Maybe you haven't seen them in a while, right? Or maybe there's people that just uh, you've been too busy, they've been too busy. Well, host a holiday party, okay? And you can do a pot, like a potluck dinner where everybody brings a little bit of something. A, a holiday cookie exchange is really cool. Everybody bakes kind of their favorite cookie. Come on over for some, you know, for some eggnog and a, and a glass of adult beverage. You know, that could be a lot of fun. Or um, a hot coke, hot cocoa and caroling. OK, um, now, you know, we're here in uh, here in uh, Texas. We're not exactly going to go caroling in the, in, in the mufflers and the wool hats. Um, that doesn't happen until January or February. Um, but something like that may be, may be fun um, uh, to, to, to sponsor and to get the people get together. Um, help a neighbor in need. Okay, look, we're all very fortunate to be living in this country and to be, li to be living in the state. But there are some people here who just, you know, uh, have a have a hard time, you know, putting things, they can put it all together. Maybe they maybe it's the, the old woman down the down the down the block. Right. Who has been without her husband for a couple of years and is alone and struggling a little bit or the couple on the corner, you know, who spend most of their time by themselves and we never see anybody visiting. Hey, you know what? Visit them. Bring over a bring over a plate of cookies or a, you know a, a pie a pumpkin pie or something like that or you know collect up their garbage cans and bring them up to the bring them up to that to, to the house or do something nice for them to to make them think you know we're thinking about you um, you're not alone here you need anything reach out give us a call we can always help so reach out to somebody to some neighbor in need um, thank those that don't get a holiday. Think about that. There are there are there are people in our neighborhood, right, who really don't get a holiday. So I'm talking about firefighters and the police and um, healthcare workers who are who are on call at the um, um, you know at the hospital in the emergency rooms just in case something were to happen. You know, stop by Christmas morning with a with a plate of muffins or with a breakfast casserole. Or, or, or you know, some um, egg sandwiches or something like that. Remember, they're going to be working there um, Christmas, e Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and um, New Year's Day while the rest of us are partying it up, right? They're out there basically supporting us uh, while we're out ha there having a good time. So think of them. Bring over something that would make them feel good and say, you know what? We appreciate you being here um, thanks a lot. And, you know, here's a, here's a plate of cookies or here's a breakfast casserole or, you know, something like that. This is actually a cool one. Pay off, um, a stranger's layaway, uh, budget or, or bill. You know, I think it was, I think it's Shaq, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, um, that every year around this time, you know, around the, the Christmas season, he goes to like a Walmart, for example, and he brings in a lot of cash, right? And he he says, you know, 
give me give me the, the amounts of for five people who have stuff on layaway and he pays it off for them. Now, okay, now Shaq, you know, is one of the richest people on the planet. He's a cool guy. Everybody kind of looks up to him, not just because he's, you know, seven feet three or whatever, you know, but because he's a he's a great individual and a great humanitarian. Well, you know, be like Shaq. OK, go up to go go over to your local Walmart or Target or something like that and um, and uh, pay off somebody's um, pay off somebody's uh, um, layaway or you don't maybe you don't have the funds. Maybe you don't want to pay off the whole thing. You know, maybe you just kind of um, kind of give them a, um, you know, a little bit of it. Say here's 50 dollars. Put it towards that. You know, uh, there's something along those lines. Hey, you know what I kind of like well, two two things I kind of like to do. Is um, I like to go to I like to go to Starbucks and get a get a like a Starbucks gift card, right? And hand it to the barista and say, um, "My coffee's for the next X number of people until this um, until this um, is gone." The other thing I kind of like to do is when I go out uh, to, to dinner or to lunch or breakfast, you know, and I see uh, like a, like a couple of cops or police officers kind of having breakfast. I'll call the waitress over and say, "I want to pay. I want to pay for their breakfast." You know, and I kind of don't like it when they when when I when they when I, they, they tell me it's tell them it's me. You know, kind of like to do it anonymously, but um, do something like that. I mean that that's a, that's a real cool thing. Uh, Phil stocking stuffers for the for the homeless. You know, there's this uh, company out there called Bombus. OK, and they have their commercials. They've had their commercials for 20 years now, I'm guessing. And they say, you know, the number one thing that people in homeless shelters ask for are socks. And that's to keep their feet warm naturally. And if your feet warm, then the rest of you kind of feels kind of feels better all day. Bombus is a great company. They do a great service. OK, don't get me wrong. But you go online and their socks are like $15. OK, and I'm th I think to myself, you know, with all due respect to Bombas, again, who does a great job, um, you can go. You can go to the sporting goods store, or to Target, and spend that fifteen dollars and buy like a dozen pair of socks, you know. And you can go to a homeless shelter with a dozen pair of socks instead of instead of you know one one pair. Okay, so do something like that. Um, the local homeless shelters tell us that what the homeless folks are looking for are uh, socks and baby wipes. Uh, beef jerky for for snacks, gloves, and T-shirts, okay? So, hey, you know, put together a little care package or a little care kit, you know, take a take take three or four of them to your local um, homeless shelter and give it to them and say, you know, here, anonymous donation, here you go, give it to somebody who, uh, give it to somebody who needs it. Hey, those are just a couple of ideas to maybe spread the joy of this, the Christmas season uh, to others that maybe are not as fortunate as we are. And um, I hope you maybe take up on some of those ideas and, you know, carry them forward and make them your own or come up with some other ones of, of your own. Next week, um, down payment assistance. So we're back to the housing thing, you know. And um, so down payment assistance. A couple, a couple of weeks ago, we did where can you get money for the down payment? And this, um, this um, sort of parallels that a little bit. This is Steve. I'm with the Rose Realty team. I'm out.